and the little rainbow birds that used to nest in the beach. You could hear them and see them, but you don't see them now, you know. Occasionally in the distance I'll hear their call, but um, I don't see them. And that first flash of that lighthouse is a wonderful feeling. It's to look out over the ocean, especially when the dolphins are around, it's just magical. It gives me a feeling of well-being, I guess you could say. So majestic. Yeah, that's it. That's the word, Sue. So majestic. Mm. Yes, yes, it is. I have been in it 27 years, but see, some of them are 40. You know, it started 40 odd years ago. Well, actually, during the war, I think. I think I've been in it about 18 years. Yes, no, I'd say 20 in, years yes, ago. Somewhere like that. I'd say um, you've been in 1959, 1960, I said I would have joined. Well, I've been in Rainbow since I was married. 1942. We used to go to the movies and the pictures of every Saturday night. I was an usherette there when at first having movies. Had a beautiful red Georgette dress with a big sailor collar of white organdy. My auntie used to play the piano when, before it got, uh, uh, when it was silent movies. My auntie used to sit there and play the night for hours. Oh, oh, that was wonderful. We only worked upstairs for people that had been in and reserved seats or bought tickets. Um, they had um, folding chairs. Mel deck chairs sitting That's... back there, those old deck chairs that used to slide <laughs> down on. <laughs> we used to go and it'd be crowded, always crowded, in the old uh, uh, institute. But it's, uh, oh, it's still there now, but it's been all rebuilt. Well, that would be in about the 1936, I suppose, we went to movies in Byron Bay. When we were here dressmaking, there was always the balls. We'd go to all the balls then they in the Literary Institute. We never missed a dance anywhere, and they were beautiful dancers. They were better dancers than what I ever was, but, ah, oh, it was wonderful. All in fancy dress. All in fancy. We were the last one I can remember. We were coronation sailors all dressed in red, white and blue, satin. We used to ride horses sometimes. If we didn't have any way of getting there, we'd get on a horse each and away we'd go. Oh, that, that was the day. We used to go and see the Wallen Bar every afternoon, sail for Sydney. That was a big thing in those days, to go and see the boat and, and see the people that came off it. Yeah, it was very busy. And that little green machine would bring them all back. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. the, the little the train engine. that yeah, went up down the, there somewhere in the Went shed. down the, to the jetty to mm. the boat. Tom used to ride his bike in from the farm and fish off there. Yeah, And watching the sharks down and hoping that he could get the fish up fish. before the sharks <laughs> got on it. Yeah. When my brother was. 17, and he was diving off the old jetty, and he was bitten by a shark, and had all these scars on his body, and he said he could never make anybody believe he'd been bitten by a shark. 